What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Skate Park Lessons with me, JB, here at the Newark Skate Park. And today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to skate a big bowl with my friend, Johnny Manic and Big Bad Thad Peterson. Check it out. The skill level for this lesson is intermediate, and the risk level for this lesson is medium. Big bowls have been around since the 1970s and have bred some of the best bowl and vert legends in skateboarding history. For this lesson, it helps if you can skate fast comfortably, drop in, pump, kick turn, carve, skate a bowl, and knee slide. If you don't know how to do any of these, please refer back to my other videos to catch up. Here are the things you guys should do. I recommend wearing shorts and tall socks as they work best with knee pads and gaskets to help protect your legs. Wear a helmet with a secured chin strap and high quality pads. Wear knee gaskets for extra padding and support under your pads. Wear older broken in skate shoes for better board feel and duct tape your laces to prevent snapping your laces during knee slides. Bring a bottle of water to stay hydrated and pack a skate tool to be prepared. Check for death boxes under the coping, rocks, trash, or water in the bowl before you start skating. Warm up with your most confident line and find the rhythm of the bowl. Warming up helps you get your blood pumping, loosen your body, and prevent injuries. Be alert and pay attention to the feeling of gravity, which feels like falling. This feeling is super important and will alert you if you carve too high without enough speed and tell you when you need to kick turn or knee slide. Practice enough to build confidence with your own lines and style. Stretch and foam roll after skating while your body is warm and loose. Ice your knees or any sore body parts after your session, which will help you with recovery time. Here are the things you guys shouldn't do. Don't bail or knee slide right before riding up a big transition. Don't stand on the coping or in the way of others who are skating. Please don't bring glass bottles into the skate park. Buy cans instead. Don't leave trash in the skate park. Pack your trash out. So what qualifies as a big bowl? Typically a big bowl has a deep end that's eight feet or over. They are outlined with metal, pool, or concrete coping and are generally made up of multiple sections that include shallow, middle, and a deep end. Some big bowls have special challenges to skate, like channels, tight corners, death boxes, love seats, hips, tiles, and vert. When do I know when I'm ready to start skating a big bowl? The major skills needed are dropping in, skating fast comfortably, pumping, carving, kick turning, and especially knee sliding, as well as a strong desire to learn. It's best to feel confident in all these abilities before skating a big bowl. How do I start? Start by knowing how to do advanced knee slides and having confidence in this ability. If you're not sure what advanced knee slides are, please refer back to my part two knee slide video. If you can't knee slide at all, please watch my knee slide videos to catch up. Confident knee slides are the most important part of learning to skate a big bowl. What pads should I wear? Buy quality. It costs more, but will last a lot longer. Remember, whatever you spend on pads will always be cheaper than a visit to the emergency room. Personally, I recommend Pro Series style pads for skating big bowls, especially if you're older or just starting to learn. If you happen to be over 30 years old like me, I highly recommend wearing knee gaskets for additional support to keep your old dusty knees tight and provide gel padding around your kneecap, which is awesome and more comfortable after repeated knee slides. Can I start from the inside of the bowl if I can't drop in? Of course you can, but please don't do this during a heated skate session or while others are skating the bowl. Sit back out of the way and watch the ripper skate if the bowl is being used and wait until the bowl is empty to jump in and start learning. Don't ruin the session. If you can't drop in yet but know how to pump, kick turn, and carve, you should start inside the more shallow section of the bowl and practice pumping there first, then begin to work your way into the deep end. Where do I drop in and why? To narrow down your options, I recommend dropping in on a slower, more mellow transition in the bowl first. It's better to start small and add speed if needed than be forced to slow down after you drop in. Imagine that your skateboard is an arrow, so wherever you hang it over the coping to drop in 
points in the direction that you will end up if you stay straight. Start small and simple and work your way into harder lines as you get more comfortable and confident. Now challenge yourself with new drop-in spots around the bowl to push your limits into progression. How do I find a line? Use the ball method and imagine the path the ball would take if you pick a spot to drop it and friction didn't slow it down. Wherever you drop the ball down into the bowl, imagine how the curves of the bowl would affect the path of the ball. Is that path in your ability level? If not, then change your drop-in location and repeat these steps. How do I maintain speed? Pumping at the right time with the transitions will help keep you smooth, stable, and a lot less tired. Let the ramps do the work and you pump up when you're riding up, press down while you're riding down, and ride with your knees slightly bent and ready anytime you're in the flat bottom. How should I stand on my board while skating the bowl? Here's the foot setup position for skating a big bowl. Stand on your board in riding position with your front foot just behind the front bolts and your back foot on the tail. Keep your heels and toes matching so the same amount of toes is hanging off as your heels. This is so you can lean and turn equally while carving, yet provide stability while pumping. Here are the simple steps for learning how to skate a big bowl. Drop into the smallest section of the bowl first and practice skating that if possible. Be sure to pump and include kick turns. You can also use a carve or a kick turn in the shallow end to slow your speed down before you skate into the deep end. As that becomes comfortable and you want to push yourself, pump down into the deep end and make a wide backside carve around the larger part of the bowl and pump back up into the shallow end. Start to pump into the deep end with more speed and into higher rainbow carves keeping all wheels on the ramp unless you kick turn. Be sure to pump out strong to gain or keep your speed so you can make it back up into the shallow section. Keep this rhythm going from shallow to deep and find the line that feels best for you. Now drop in and begin with a basic back and forth or figure eight pattern from shallow to deep that allows for broad carve turns, especially in the deep end. Repeat this line and get comfortable with more speed and higher carves, switching between front side and back side in the shallow and the deep end. When this becomes easy, change it up and skate your figure eight pattern in the opposite direction. Now add in some creative turns and tricks to mix up your line and skate different areas of the bowl. How do I bail? Always try to wait until you're coming down the transition to bail if possible. Do not bail right before you are about to ride up the transition, as this may cause you to slam directly into the wall. You can bail close to the coping while riding up. Anytime coming down works, but the earlier the better. And knee slides in the flat bottom work as well. What's the best board setup for big bowls? This is mainly a personal preference, but I would recommend a wider board with a wider wheelbase for extra stability. Eight and a quarter to a nine inch board usually works best for most rippers. Be sure to match the truck width to your skateboard width. What size wheel should I use and what hardness? It's best to skate between 54 and 58 millimeter wheels depending on the style coping you're skating. Many people use 56 millimeter as their baseline and others use 58 depending on the tricks you want to do and how fast you want to skate. The larger the wheel size, the easier it is to gain speed while pumping. My recommended wheel durometer is 84B and 101A for smoother concrete and 99A for rougher concrete. How loose should my trucks be? This is a personal preference, which depends on your skating style, body weight, and depth of the bowl. More weight equals easier leverage, so you might have to tighten your trucks one extra turn compared to someone who is lighter. Personally, I like to keep my trucks loose and try to keep my kingpin nut flush with the kingpin. But when I skate the big bowl, I'll tighten them a bit to minimize speed wobbles. Here are some related line ideas to help inspire you for more combinations. For beginner, pump, kick, turn, and carve around the shallow section and include practicing your knee slides as well as learning how to knee slide from the top of the coping into the shallow end. For intermediate, start to pump and carve around the deep end, add some basic tricks, make circles and figure eight lines with more speed into higher carves. 
include practicing your knee slides, as well as learning how to knee slide from the coping into the deep end. For advanced, try creative lines that use the whole bowl, add tricks, airs, slides, and have fun. The skate term for this lesson is waterfall. A waterfall is a roll-in style transition that allows you to connect the shallow end to the deep end. Please share this video or channel with your friends or anyone who would benefit from it and they will appreciate your consideration. We put a lot of time and love into making these videos for you and we post them for free to help people around the world. Please send donations to keep us making new videos for you. Leave me your comments with your location, including any questions you may have, ideas or lessons for future videos, and your thoughts or feedback about this video so I can continue to do my best to help you guys reach your goals. I hope this video helped you to gain a better understanding of skateboarding. Please help support us. Click the like and subscribe button to encourage me to make a new video for you every week. Thanks again for watching and be sure to meet me back here for another edition of your favorite skate park lessons. Hold on. Professional, baby. Pan out. Professional. Pan. <laughs> Pan. All right, we're good. We're, we're ready. Okay, All right. ready? Professional musician. How do I know if I'm ready to start? Okay. You're, you're not stopping at all, are you? How do I know if I'm ready to start learning to skate? <laughs> <laughs> hey, see my job. That was right. Yes. Yeah, because then you're just okay, assuming you're going to get there. Let's do that. Yeah, you're assuming you're going to okay. get there by watching these videos. Right, let's change it then. You'll get there. We're good. When? All right. When? <laughs> now we're making it harder. All right, ready? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> See, what did I just say? David, what did All I right, say? I got it, I got it, when? I got it.